Hey everyone, this is your 5-Minute Daily Devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Luke chapter 10, verse 16, and Proverbs 1, 18, verse 22. They read as follows. Whoever listens to you listens to me. Whoever rejects you rejects me. But whoever rejects me rejects him who sent me. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. So I was once working in this particular job where I was a top performer. I was a go-to for many in this particular position, in this particular workplace. People loved my work. I did really well. I enjoyed what I did. I enjoyed the position and I enjoyed the work. Well, one day the company decided to create this internal certification for this particular type of work. And it wasn't necessarily like a big deal. It was internal, but the company wanted to be able to say, oh, hey, come work with us. Our people are certified internally in this particular field. They developed the test and it would be scored on a curve. Whoever did not make this particular score would be let go. Guys, I bombed it. I am so serious. I bombed it and I'm not even sure why. I could blame it on the way the questions were worded on the exam. I could say, oh, it was because of this. No, it was because of that. People expressed shock. They would come to me and tell me, you were our star performer, yada, yada, yada. I bombed that thing. I presented my case to the person in charge as to why they should not cut me as a client and they were unyielding. They wanted this test to be the main thing, so I was let go. I dressed my wounds, I dried my tears, and I kept going. I found this other, by God's grace, even better opportunity much better opportunity in the same field and the same work and I got to work. I did the same exceptional work for them. I put my all into it. I did excellent work for them and I enjoyed what I did. I was grateful that God blessed me with an even better opportunity. I kept going. A few years later, another really great, really great opportunity at a new place opened up and I took it. I was so grateful. This was definitely a step up, definitely a step in the right direction. I started getting to work for them. A little while into my job there, they came and told me, hey, if you wanna take this international certification, we'll pay for it. You can take it and we'll pay for it. This certification is the top certification in this particular field. It's known all over, all over. Everyone knows the certification. It comes with credentials, it comes with letters. They told me if I wanted to do it, they would pay for it. I kept growing, I kept learning, I decided to take the chance. I studied, I prayed a lot, others prayed for me. There was a very high pass rate for this particular certification. I jumped in, I took that exam, and I passed it, guys, on the first shot. Knocked it out of the park, by God's grace, I got the credentials, I got the certification. And do you know what the Lord reminded me of after all the excitement died down, after everything cooled down? He reminded me of that first internal low key certification that I had failed, that I had bombed, that company that rejected me. And he reminded me if I would have passed that thing, I could have still been at that company. But because I failed it, because they rejected me, even though I did great work for them, God gave me two additional really great opportunities and one that led to this international certification that has just opened up more opportunities, opened up incredible doors. Friends, rejection stings. I mean, it really does. It makes you feel just kind of rejected. <laughs> it makes you feel very rejected, very humiliated. It makes you feel like you are not good enough for that particular thing or person or situation or job or whatever. But can I tell you that God knows what he's doing and that saying that rejection is redirection is so true. It's so true. God knows what he's doing. We can trust him even though we may be rejected by a place or a job or a person or a situation or ourselves sometimes, even though we may suffer some rejection, if we would just sort of trust the Lord, trust his process and just keep going on the way he has for us, we will see that that rejection was actually redirection to something so much better. It's like we want down here, but God has way up here for us if we would but trust him. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, that you are the God of 
acceptance, Lord, that even when we are rejected by people out there, by situations out there, by jobs out there, by circumstances, Lord, you always accept us, Lord. You never reject us, Lord. You never forsake us, Lord. You are always by our sides. And we thank you, God, that you know what you're doing. And so if you let us suffer a rejection, Lord, even temporarily, Lord, even though it's painful, God, it is because you absolutely have something really great in store. And maybe that thing, that person, that situation, that job would hold us back from what and who you have for us, God, for where you want us to go and for what you want us to do for you, God. We thank you, God, that you, Lord, have a path for us, Lord, and we can trust you, Lord, even in the rejection, Lord, that you are redirecting us on the right path in the right way, and it will bring you glory, and we will get the good out of it. We will benefit. We love you, God. We bless you, and we give you the glory in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below. I would love to have you, and I would appreciate it. Guys, God bless you so much. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time, and have a great day.